Great. So Scott again here uh, from Edge Math. Uh, so let's talk today about uh, relations, um, which, which is kind of an abstract concept, but just we can talk about different ways two things can be related to another. But I think it's best to if we look at uh, some examples. So, so first example. Um, so let's look at the relation equals. So like two two numbers are related to each other if they are equal to each other. So let's look at that. Um, so we can check. Uh, well, every number is equal to itself, so so it's related to itself. So we call that re reflexive if something is related to itself or equal to itself in this case. Um, and we can see if one number is equal to a second number, then the second number will be equal to the first number, so uh, that's pretty straightforward here. Um, and then that's also transitive, we say. Um, uh, if a first number is equal to a second number, so A equals B, and the second number is equal to the third number, A equals C, then the first is related to the third, so, so that's all pretty obvious here. Um, equals is called an equivalence relation. It's all three of the it's all it, has, it satisfies all three of these properties. So um, so we call that a equivalence relation. Um, let's look at a second example of a relation. Um, is the sibling of so we so this would apply to people or maybe animals, but so we say uh, something is related to Another one person is related to another person if they're siblings. So, so let's look at the properties here. Um, if let's see, if it's reflexive, if if one person is their own sibling, that's not really true. That's not what we mean by siblings. So that sort of implies a, a different person. So, so it's not reflexive. Is it symmetric? Um, is if one person is the second person sibling, then is the second person the first person si person sibling? Well, that's you know that's true. So my brother is, or I am my brother's brother. So um, that's symmetric. And then transitive. Um, let's see if it's transitive. That would mean if one person is a second person sibling and the second person is a third person sibling, then the first person is the third person's sibling. That, that also holds here. So that means it's transitive. It's also symmetric, we found, but not reflexive. And then one last example, um, the less than relation. So if two numbers are related to each, or A is related to B if A is less than B. So, so we can check, is that reflexive? Um, is a number less than itself? Uh, that's not true, so this is not reflexive. How about a, a symmetric? If a number is less than a second number, then is the second less than the first? Um, so it's, if A is less than B, then is B less than A? And that's not true, so like 9 is less than 10, but 10 is not less than 9, so that's not symmetric. Uh, is it transitive? Does it, um, so if one number is less than the second, the second is less than the third, then the first would be less than the third. So, um, so if A is less than B and B is less than C, is A less than C? Those, those represent actual numbers. Uh, that's true, so this is transitive. So less than is transitive, but not symmetric and not reflexive. So that's uh, three, three basic examples of relations. And let me know if you have any questions about that or um, anything else I can help you with. Um, and have a great day.